Sonic Cross. So today, we're going to be learning about all 206 bones in the human body. So get out a piece of paper and number it 1 through 206 and write the names of the bones down as I call them out. There's 206 bones in the human body? Hey, Junior, if you want to add another bone, just bend over. How would that add a bone? Bend over and find out. Penelope, can I borrow a pencil? No. Wait, Joseph, can I borrow a pencil? Dude, I only have one. Cody, can I borrow a pencil? Sorry, Junior, this is the only one I have. Oh, I need a pencil. All right, Crass, I have a very simple song that will easily help you remember all 206 bones in the human body. Sing it with me, Crass. The frontal bone's connected to the maxilla bone, and the maxilla bone's connected to the sphenoid bone, and the sphenoid bone's connected to the temporomandibular joint bone, and the temporomandibular joint bone's connected to the mandible bone, and yeah, can you slow down? Oh, damn it! Hey, Cody, can I please borrow your pencil? I haven't wrote anything down. Okay, fine, but just hurry up. Okay. Wait, it needs to be sharpened. Hold on. Junior, it's a mechanical pencil. Don't sharpen it. Shh. They're connected to the sternum bones and the sternum bones. Are connected to the what, Junior? It's a mechanical pencil. You're not supposed to sharpen it. Well, I'm not. What, Junior? You're breaking my favorite pencil. <laughs> Junior, it won't come out. Junior, Junior, you're ruining it. Junior, that was my favorite pencil, and you just broke it. Well, I thought it was like a normal pencil. I thought you had to sharpen it. No, you're supposed to push the button. God damn it, Junior, you idiot. Uh, Cody, why did you hit him? He, he, he broke my mechanical pencil. Oh, uh, Cody, what was that for? Whoa, Junior, I gave you a wicked shiner. I didn't know I had it in me. Sorry, I guess I just don't know my own strength. Junior, Cody gave you a huge black eye. Cody making you hit, bitch. What? I did? Yeah, you did. You kick your ass. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess I did. No, you just caught me off guard. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call me badass Cody. <laughs> you hear that, class? Nobody mess with me. <laughs> All right, class, let's get back to the song. Junior fractured his ocular bone and his ocular bone connected to his maxilla bone and his maxilla Ow. bone. Junior, you're lucky I have another mechanical pencil. Otherwise, I'd beat your ass. Dude, it's not that serious. Calm down, bro. Shut up, Joseph. Oh, don't hit me. Ha ha, Junior. Cody gave you a big black eye. He caught me off guard. What was that? Huh? What was that? Little bitch says what? Huh? Little wussy? You want these hands? Come get these hands. No, I don't want to fight. That's what I thought. Ha ha, you have a black eye. What's with you and black eyes? Yeah, what's wrong with black eyes? Shut up. Oh, teacher, I think I'm just gonna go home. Junior, why do you run? Why are you run like a real bitch? Mm mm mm, my Mexican stir fry is almost done. I can't wait to drop a turd in that toilet tonight. Arriba! Shut baby! Damn, Junior, what happened to your eye? <laughs> did somebody beat your ass or did you run into a doorknob like everybody else says? What happened to me was really embarrassing, Chef Pee Pee. <gasps> I gotta know, Junior. Please tell me. Please tell me. I gotta know. Oh, I don't want you to laugh at me. Buddy! Oh, pal! It's me, Chef Pee Pee, your best friend. I won't laugh at you. You promise? I promise. Okay, well, Cody punched me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you let a nerd punch you in the face? There's no way you can recover, Junior. I can't recover from this. No, you're going to have to move to another country and change your name to Jimbo Ronnie. I don't want to be Jimbo Ronnie. And maybe milk cows for a living. I don't want to do that. And crack eggs from chickens. And stuff. I don't want to please, Jimmy. There's got to be something I can do to recover. Calm down, Jimbo Ronnie. The only way you can recover is if you give Cody a black eye. So you got to punch him. <gasps> You're right, Chef Pee If I give Cody a black eye, he can't make fun of me then. Yeah, now you're even. Okay, well, let me go do it. Do that. <laughs> Silly Jimbo Ronnie. Okay, when Cody gets in here, I'm going to punch him right in the face. Sup, punk? Ah, don't hit me, Cody. That's what I thought. What, what's your shirt say? Joe Cool. That's what I want you to call me from now on. Why? Because I said so. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Joe Cool. What's up, dude? Uh, hey, Joseph. What are we doing today? Whatever Joe Cool says. Wait, wait, why is he wearing a shirt that says Joe Cool? That's what he wants us to call him from now on. Dude, I'm not calling him that. What, you're not afraid he's gonna beat you up? No, he's not gonna beat me up. I'm not afraid of him. <gasps> you're right. And I shouldn't be afraid of him either. Hey, Joe Cool. Yeah? Take this. <laughs> Ow! Oh, God! Ugh, Cody, what was that for? Dang, dude, Cody gave you two black eyes? He did? Yeah, that's right. Don't try to hit me. I'm Joe Cool. Too cool for school. And I'll leave you laying in a pool of your own blood. Fuck out of here. Dude, you're totally Cody's bitch now. I am? Yeah, he got you looking like a raccoon. He gave you panda eyes, dude. Man, to get two black eyes from Cody? Oh, man, it's crazy. What? Oh, I'm gonna call the cops. He can't hit me twice. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer. Oh, kid, what happened to your eyes? This kid beat me up and now everyone's making fun of me. I want you to go arrest him. Well, I mean, I could arrest him, but that would just be the biggest bitch move you could make right now. Really? Oh, yeah. If I arrest him, they're going to find out you told on him, and then everybody's going to call you a little narc tattletale baby bitch boy. I don't want that to happen. Yeah. So what do I do? Well, there's really nothing you can do, kid. 
Well, you know, this all reminds me of the time I got two black eyes. You did? Oh, yeah. So this one time I was an ant, and we were collecting food for the colony because we were afraid of these grasshoppers, and we were giving them our food so they didn't eat us. So we were collecting all the food on this big leaf, and I had, like, this contraption on my back, and I accidentally dropped it and it knocked over a rock, and then all the food went over this cliff. And then the grasshoppers got there, and boy, were they mad because they were like, where's our food? And we were like, well, we had it, but it's gone now. So then they gave us another day to get their food, and then they got eaten by a bird, and hold on, no, this didn't happen to me. This is the plot of A Bug's Life. See, I'm doing that thing I do sometimes where I get my life confused with movies I've seen. I I'm sorry, I, I remember what happened now. Yeah, so I I I me and my wife, right, we were old, and we were living in our dream home, and it was beautiful, but then she died, and it was very, very sad, and I wanted to see this waterfall for some reason, so I tied a bunch of balloons to the roof of my house because I wanted to bring my house with me, and then there was this Boy Scout in the house, and then there was a talking dog. Wait, no, damn it, this is, this is the movie up. I'm, I'm describing the movie up. That didn't happen to me either. I'm, I'm sorry. Hold on. I, I got it now. I remember. So I was a little kid and I was laying in bed and I was afraid of the dark, right? And then all of a sudden my closet opens and this big fuzzy monster named Sully comes out and I call him Kitty because I'm just a little kid and I think he's a kitty. And then him and his friend Mike Wazowski help hide me on the scare floor from this creepy salamander guy named Randall because he did not like me. He was trying to suck my screams out because, you know, screams is what powered their world. And wait, damn it. No, this is the plot of Monsters, Inc. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I got it. So, so I was in college, and I was trying to become the top scare. Damn, this is Monsters, Inc. University. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I got it. I just, I have to pee. That's what it is. I'm very distracted. Hold on. Let me pee, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back from the bathroom, I peed, I remember what happened, now I got the story. Okay, so I was a race car driver, right? And I came into a three-way tie with these two other racers, and then we decide that we're gonna have a tiebreaker race in California. So then on the way there, my truck falls asleep, and then I wake up in the middle of the desert, and then I meet Larry the Cable Guy as a tow truck. No, 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 th this is Cars, this is the plot of Cars. I, I'm sorry, I got it, I got it this time, I remember, that reminded me. Okay, the real story. Okay, so I heard Comic-Con was coming into town, right? And it's this big convention where everybody dresses up, and I think, oh, that sounds fun. So I decided to go dressed as a box of Cheez-Its, because I didn't really understand the theme, and I thought we were all just going dressed as stuff we like. So I show up as a box of Cheez-Its, and I immediately know I made a big mistake, because then I see everybody dressed up as all this nerdy stuff, and then I think, no, you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna rock the hell out of this Cheez-It costume. So I go in, and then this nerd, dressed like Jar Jar Binks, starts making fun of me, and he's like, you so stupid. You so dressed like a box of Cheez-Its. And I say, hey man, don't dog on my Cheez-Its. They're actually pretty good. And he says, you so dumb. Misa think cheese nips are better. And I'm like, okay, cheese nips are shit. And then he hits me right in the eye, and I fall back on my back, and I can't get up because I'm dressed like a box of Cheez Its, and I can't roll over because I'm a box of Cheez Its. So then he gets on top of me, and he keeps hitting me, and he gives me two black eyes, and then this stormtrooper has to come pull him off me, and by this time, everybody's pointing at me and laughing because I just get my ass kicked by Jar Jar Binks, and then the firefighters have to come and pry me out of my costume with the jaws of life. And I am so embarrassed by all of this. So I decide to pull the fire alarm, you know, and ruin everybody's time. The sprinklers turn on, everybody's costume gets wet, they have to cancel the whole convention because of me. So then, I just go home and eat a box of Cheez-Its. So, how do I get over these two black eyes? Um, pull the fire alarm? My house doesn't have a fire alarm. Well, uh, that's all I got. You could try having some Cheez-Its, but that's it. Sorry! What? This didn't help at all! Ugh. Thomas, I don't know what to do. Everyone keeps making fun of me and my two black eyes. Hey, nerd, give me your train. But Joe Cool, it's my favorite toy. No, that's what Joe Cool wants. But Joe Cool, please let me keep playing with him. Do you want a broken nose to match your two black eyes? No. That's what I thought. <sighs> oh, what can I do to get back at Cody? He embarrassed me. I just have to embarrass him, and everyone will forget about my two black eyes. But what can I do? Oh. <gasps> <laughs> wow, Junior, you have two black eyes? Cody taught you another lesson? Or no! That's crazy. Hey guys, Joe Cool is here. <laughs> no, no guys, it wasn't me. It was a whoopee cushion. No, dude, that was a real one. That sounded wet. Ew, Cody, that's disgusting! No, 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 but the whoopee cushion. Ew, Cody, you shit your pants? Ew! Ew. Everyone thinks I shit my pants. Mommy! <laughs> I don't have 
have a booby butt. Hey, Cody. Junior, was it you that put the whoopee cushion in my chair? Yeah. But Junior, why would you do that? You humiliated me. Because you humiliated me by giving me a black eye in front of the whole class. Well, yeah, but you broke my mechanical pencil. I didn't know you, like, I didn't know it could break by putting in the sharpener, and plus you had another one. Well, yeah, but that blue one was my favorite. Listen, Cody, I'm sorry for doing that to you, but I just wanted to show you what it would feel like to embarrass me by giving me a black eye. Yeah, being made fun of isn't fun. Okay, I won't beat you up anymore. And I won't put whoopee cushions on your chair anymore. Okay. Ah!